hey my loves and welcome back to the channel guys so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips some practices as well as a, a full art tutorial on how you can create how you can film beauty content on your sony zv1 and this is what i'm currently filming on if you guys want to be able to maximize this camera to its fullest potential for beauty content then in this video i'm going to be walking you guys through how you can do that from the settings of your camera down to the setting up for the camera now in case you guys are interested stick around with me and let's get right into this video so hey loves and welcome back to the channel yet again and if you are seeing me for the first time hello and welcome my name is Kelechi Bemana and on this platform on this channel we love to share tips tutorials practices hacks on how you can level up and increase and improve your content creation game now like I said in the beginning um, this video is going to be all about creating beauty content using your Sony ZV-1 if this is a camera that you already have or if it's a camera that you are thinking of getting I feel like it's an amazing beginner friendly camera so to get started with this we are going to be covering setting up your camera as well as creating a set for the camera and then filming using the camera so yeah that's what we're going to be covering in this video okay so the first thing I like to do before I even set up is to make sure that my camera settings has been set for whatever content I'm filming now if I'm filming um, lifestyle vlog I typically have a setting for that however when it comes to filming sit down stabilized beauty content or talk you know tutorials like this I like to kind of dial down on my settings by myself and I'm going to share with you guys the behind the scenes of how I set my camera for this type of so camera. we are going to switch over to my mobile phone so that way i can kind of show you guys and share with you guys my current settings and how i set and things that you might want to change and adjust depending on your preference so when it comes to filming quality i typically would film in fhd that's 1080p however if you do want to maximize and get the best quality definitely feel free to upgrade to 4k this camera does film in 4k so it would be nice to actually utilize and make the most of it to get the best quality for your viewers for your audience my only concern is with filming 4k files are going to be large it's going to be kind of tedious to edit and export and all of that so if you're filming lifestyle content and you have hours and hours of footage that might be hard <laughs> or difficult to um, edit but for this video i'm going to be filming in 4k okay so this is what my sunny zv1 settings look like now i go into mode and i love to film in movie mode um, specifically using the manual mode so that way i'm able to adjust my shutter speed aperture and iso at the same time right i'm going to click on that function button and this is what i have working with now again my product showcase is always on focus area is wide um, my autofocus is on continuous autofocus and again my white balance is on auto white balance and for my creative style i use standard and i take the contrast saturation and sharpness down by one level so an amazing feature that i love about the sony zv1 when it comes to creating content as a beauty person as someone who just likes to look good is the beauty mode right is the skin softening mode now this is optional to you you might choose to use this you might not choose to use this however personally when i'm doing lifestyle vlogs i like to use this and i like to use this on the low lowest settings i've never gone above low i'm going to show you guys what that looks like but this is what it looks like filming in low now another amazing feature about this camera when it comes to filming solo filming beauty content is the fact that it does have a flip out screen i'm going to show you guys 
what that looks like in a bit it does have a flip out screen and with this it means that i can basically see myself as i'm filming and be able to adjust my settings be able to adjust myself and maybe even put on my makeup as i'm getting ready so yeah this kind of gives you an edge it kind of makes content creation as a solo creative without help easy and doable so compositioning and framing is so important typically i like to film at a 45 degree angle so this is my hand straight up i like to just take my camera up a bit right here and then tilt it down just a little bit so that way it kind of gets the overall um, view. I like it being a little bit higher and then tilted just a little bit down. Now I also have my levels turned on. I go to the display button and I love to make sure that the level is usually ticked so that way it's displayed on my screen like this. Okay guys so I have this on right here. I'm going to show you how to do it but this just ensures that I am compositioned well and that I am leveled and that the camera is leveled basically. So you definitely want to make sure that the line is green and not yellow. <laughs> As you'll see now, like now it is not balanced. Right now it is not balanced. So you definitely want it to be green, like, like right now. So now it is definitely balanced. I can go ahead to tighten this up because this camera is so amazing it does come with a product showcase feature that allows you to showcase whatever product you're working with or you're trying to show and that is amazing for beauty content because then you can get you know details as you know zoomed in as this and you guys can see the details of it if i bring another product up close you can see and it focuses really quick focus back on me like the focus game on this camera is second to none i can even come closer to get a more up close are you guys seeing this to get a more up close detailed shot really detailed let me take this off you guys can see like so i can get the details of the applicator every little bit of it and it is just amazing i am that something so i'm gonna go ahead to just start off my makeup Okay, so another amazing feature to take note of if you are filming beauty content is the zoom. Now, this camera does have a zoomable lens. If you are a beginner, um, you don't have to worry about buying multiple lens or the right lens to buy. This one can cut across all content types, whether it's food, makeup, lifestyle, vlogging, hair, right? So yeah, I'm going to zoom in because I want to draw my brows. And instead of moving closer, I could either move closer, but to get a more detailed shot, I'm going to just zoom you guys in. And now we are up close and personal. Now I can go ahead to be more detailed. And when you do zoom in, it doesn't affect the, you know, product showcase feature. Still does an amazing job with focusing on a product. It's, I don't know if you guys are seeing this. Like, I don't, I, this is just amazing. The autofocus on this is even better than my DSLR camera. And yes, I did say that. So yeah, um, this is amazing for anyone who is filming beauty tutorials. Okay, so now that we've gotten through with the settings of this camera for beauty content that I love using, um, again, feel free to adjust them. Feel free to tweak them to your own preference. There are a lot of things I you can tweak but this is supposed to be a guide if you want to be guided <laughs> i guess 
but yeah now we're going to talk about setting up for filming beauty content and i love this because i have tons of videos relating to this again if it's your first time i'll leave a link here so you guys can check my previous videos on that but when it comes to setting up there are basically three things that you might want to take note of stabilization lighting and audio with stabilization you can go ahead to use any tripod of your choice based on availability and all that um, you can even stack up some textbooks or do your DIY, however it is. But personally for me, I love to use a tripod or whatever I have available. But in this case, because I'm filming with my other camera to kind of get like the behind the scenes, I went ahead to use a light stand, right? I went ahead to use a light stand and I also went ahead to adapt a ball head to it so that way I would be able to tilt the camera and adjust the camera to the angle that I want. Like I said, I love filming in a 45 degree angle and I like to kind of tilt the camera. So this kind of gives me the option to tilt it. So yeah, that's something to take note of. You always want to make sure that your camera is as stable as possible. So make sure it's on a firm surface. You're not vlogging. If you're vlogging, a little bit of shake, you know, here and there might be allowed. But with kind of beauty content, you do want the focus to be on you are not all over the place you don't want to distract people right so next up we have the lighting right so with beauty content lighting is super important it is so important because you do want people to see what you are doing and you want people to also see the details and the true color right so um definitely feel free to use what you have personally i love using my natural lighting i always say this every time i do have a huge window in front of me that i always film with and I use this for all of my content however um, just for an added advantage if that makes sense I do have another light in front of me another LED light that I'm using I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead to turn it off so you guys can see the difference that it makes this is so optional but I'm gonna turn it off and show you what it looks like filming with just my natural light and then I obviously have to tweak the settings for this so I'm gonna turn this off we don't need you no more okay so i just turned off the light that i had in my studio but what i'm going to do now because my settings my camera settings have been set for the current or the previous lighting situation with my light i'm going to go ahead to tweak you know my iso right i'm going to adjust my iso a little bit let me just go over to my settings so my iso is currently at 125 i'm going to change this to about 160 or even 200 let me see what that looks like so 200 is perfect i'm going to show you guys something when it comes to setting your camera right okay so when it comes to setting your camera hi guys you always want to make sure that this over here is at plus 0, 0.0 right this shows that your lighting is balanced right it is not either too dark or too bright so make sure that it is at 0, 0.0 now just so that you guys get what i'm talking about i'm gonna go ahead to adjust the settings a little bit let me take my iso up to about let me say 400 and you guys are seeing now that it is too bright and now it is at plus one it is showing that it is too bright when it's on the plus side it is too bright when it's on the minus side it is too dark let me reduce this to take my iso down to can i take it down to let me say one two five you can see that it is minus 0.3 so you want to kind of tweak the settings as much as possible to get it to zero uh let me adjust it now and take this iso over to 200 and that should give me zero so it's just like um trial and error as you guys can see it is zero right now so it is pretty much trial and error playing around with the settings to see what works for you damn i think i like <laughs> i think i like what we're looking like without the light it's giving natural and i'm definitely living for it so this is what i look like filming with my natural lights only i don't even have my room lights turned on i'm just using this window like i always say natural light is the best light for beauty content because again it is soft it is beautiful and most importantly it is free all right so next up is the audio you guys already know 
what I'm about when it comes to audio. Um, I love using the Boya mic. This mic is so inexpensive. It's beginner friendly. It's plug and play, but it does come with an external battery. You do have to buy the battery and you always have to make sure that you change the battery maybe every month or, you know, depending on how frequent you have this turned on. So if you notice that your microphone isn't performing as good or clear, maybe it's sounding weird, definitely is the fault of the battery change the battery out get a new one just unscrew this over here you would see it's just a screw right you would see the battery just bring it out and put another one in and screw like kind of close it back and then just connect it to your camera and you're good to go this can work on your um, laptop on your mobile phone you just have to switch it over from camera to smartphone or whatever your device you're using i do want you guys to know that the internal audio that comes with this camera is the bomb like it is crazily amazing and i'm gonna show you guys and just take this off okay so i just took off my microphone my external microphone and what you're hearing right now is the sound is the audio that comes that's coming out of the inbuilt mic that comes with your camera so again if you don't have the money for um a microphone lighting stabilization just stack up some things put the camera and hit the record button and make sure you're filming where there is sunlight and you are good to go with this camera you don't need to buy lenses you don't need to buy any extra heavy gear that would kind of be costly so yeah, that's it. Um, I'm filming with the inbuilt mic. And again, because this camera has a zoomable lens, I might decide to kind of come in closer. And the closer I am with, to you guys, the louder and the better the audio is. So if I'm, this audio is amazing, right? I'm not all about it. But if you can and you want to, definitely invest in an external mic and it would kind of help a lot with your content quality. So next up, this is very important and we're talking about batteries guys you do want to have extra 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 batteries when you are filming beauty content or filming any type of content in general with this camera whether it's a vlog it's a hair tutorial it's a food video tutorial you do want to have extra batteries because this camera runs like it drains battery too fast it doesn't even last for up to 20 30 minutes sometimes um if i'm filming so especially if you're filming using 4k it would drain your battery faster as opposed to filming in hd so yeah i um, definitely want to invest in extra batteries i didn't say extra battery i said batteries currently i think i have about five extra batteries that kind of help me throughout the entire filming day now currently i have used up about four or three three to four batteries filming i think this is my fourth battery right now and yeah you do want to make sure that you have enough battery so that way you're not filming makeup and then you have to pause and charge it and then come back after like 30 minutes and continue filming and then pause and charge it like it's going to probably take you the whole day of filming you want to make sure that you have at least two extra batteries so while one is in the others can be charging at the same time so yeah definitely take my advice on that however Something you guys can also do is to use an AC adapter. There, there is an AC adapter for this camera available now. You can check Amazon, you can check AliExpress. But yeah, you can get that and kind of connect it to your camera. I don't have that because I basically use this camera for vlogging once in a while, creating beauty content. But 90% of the time I use it for vlogging and I'm on the go. I can't connect it to the socket. But if I were to be using this for sit down tutorials, which I might just start doing, I definitely will invest in an AC adapter so that way I can be recording for minutes and hours without having to change my batteries. And that's what I currently use for my Canon M6 Mark II. I have an AC adapter that allows me to film from when I start to when I'm done filming. So I just film like straight up content for hours and it's been working for me for years and I don't have any issues with that. So definitely feel free to check them out. I'll leave the links in the description box so you guys can also get them if you wanna be using this camera for indoor content to make sure that you 
are able to record without any hiccup or stops okay but yeah um this is what we are looking like right now filming with the sony zv1 and i do hope this video was as informative as possible and if you are a beginner if you're someone who is looking for ways to utilize your sony zv1 for all type of content this is definitely something you can do i just tried i'm not saying this is the perfect settings whatever works for you is your perfect setting so if you feel like something with my settings or setup isn't working definitely feel free to adjust it as you go and as you try creating is all about trial and error and you know learning from the process so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video do let me know down in the comment section this is how you can film like sit down tutorials this is how you can film beauty content hair content using this camera and i'm I'm, I'm 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 in love with it. yeah um if you enjoyed this video definitely feel free to give me a thumbs up that's how i know you guys love this video also feel free to comment down in the comment section and i definitely cannot wait to see you guys in my next video i do have a more detailed video on creating a beauty setup i'll leave the link here so you guys can check it out I also have a video on my studio setup in case you guys want to see exactly what I have going on as well. I'll leave the link also here as well so you guys can check that out. And yeah, I haven't said all that I can say in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Till then, make sure that you stay fabulous and you stay blessed. Mwah.